I have never played any Zelda game ever. When I told some of my friends this fact, they thought I was joking. I wasn't. I was being serious. I don't know, I just never got around to it. However, after constantly hearing how great these games were, I decided that I wanted to do 100 days in it. If you guys do enjoy the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I would really appreciate it because I did buy a whole Nintendo Switch just for this video. So if you could spend just a few seconds dropping a thumbs up, that would mean a lot to me. Also, be sure to comment any other game you want to see me do 100 days in, including Switch games because I did just buy this thing and I do want to get my money's worth. Anyways, I have rambled on for long enough, so without further ado, let's roll the shitty intro and get straight into this video of a Zelda noob spends 100 days in Breath of the Wild. Before day one could officially begin, of course I had to load in. I do like me a good bubble bath. Okay. Give me the... The slate. So I pretty much have a tap credit card here. Like, now that I have the Sheikah slate, whatever the hell that might be, I think it's time for me to exit this tomb or whatever I might be in and head out into the real world. Oh man, that is gorgeous. God damn, that's beautiful. After fawning over the beautiful graphics in the world, I can officially say it is now day one. I don't really know what to do, because again, I've never played a Zelda game before, but I guess I'll go talk to this old man down here. Yo, bro. I'm alone, naked, and afraid. What's going on? <laughs> His character name is Old Man. Oh, man. I have a lot to explore today, so yeah, I guess let's go start finding stuff on the Great Plateau and figure out what this game is all about. You know, like chop down trees. Oh, yeah. And then the Sheikah slate. I got an iPad, pretty much. Okay, <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not a good idea. What did I just activate? I'm guessing that's a bad guy, right? Okay, so bad guy over there. Big mountain over there. Another tower over there. All right, tap away. Okay, and now I can activate. And then put it roughly about there. Well, I guess I skipped that by accident. A spirit orb, a symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. Also, just so you know how professional of a YouTuber I am, at some point today I accidentally muted my mic and I don't realize till about halfway through tomorrow. So yeah, at least this game is pretty. And I want you to know that I was making really witty jokes and laughing hysterically the entire time. It's now day two and I am still muted. I found the old man's hut. So that's cool, I guess. And I want you to know I was laughing hysterically when I did this. Also, I was really frustrated about now because I need to get up in this cold area, but I don't know how. Hey, I'm now unmuted and I figured out if you use a torch, you can keep the heat, which is a really good thing. So let's try to figure out this cold area, which I don't know how to get up. Okay, look, what am I supposed to do here? I need to get to these other thingy mabobs. After a frustrating day two, day three is looking more promising. Still learning the control. Oh, well, that looks promising over there. Okay, this is taking me a significant amount of time to get from there to here, but here we are. Well, it's time for my new favorite saying, it's shrine time. Let's create a pillar of ice from a water surface. Build ice pillars that are very stable. These pillars can be used as stepping stones or as obstacles. Ah, big brain. Wonderful. With that shrine completed, I need to find my way to the fourth and final shrine, so let's go looking. I won't lie, dude, that's... That's a little on the creepy side right there. But you know what, there's worse things that could be happening. It's now day four, and I'm heading into the fourth shrine, which is almost poetic, but this one introduces me to status. 
status. Stop the flow of time for an object. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop it! After a little frustration, though, all four shrines were completed. Oh, okay. Everything. No, I gotta hear this. Another riddle, dude? Come on. Yep, I guess I gotta head to the Temple of Time, so that gives me plenty of time to complain about Link's stamina on the way. I, I, I don't understand the stamina in this game. This guy is climbing a mountain, barely budging on the stamina with a sledgehammer on his back. Look at that thing. But if he runs for more than 10 seconds, it's over. It's just over. Like, he can't, he can't handle it. Like, look at how fast that stamina goes down. I arrive there and it's time to, as the kids would say, get blessed. All right, I guess it's time to go talk to Santa and figure out what I'm doing here. I was the last leader of Hyrule, a kingdom which no longer exists. <sighs> well, obviously, I'm not going to show you guys the entire lore because it's long. I'll give you a brief summary, though I'm sure 99% of you know it. Essentially, I'm the knight of a princess who has been fighting a massive demon for the better part of a hundred years. I've just been chilling in my tomb because I kind of died a hundred years ago. Oh, the princess's name is Zelda. By the way, that's, that's what Legend of Zelda means. I didn't know what Zelda was. Turns out it's a who. Oh, yeah, and there's also these, like, massive robots called the Divine Beasts. Uh, we dug them up to help us against Ganon, but more or less Ganon hacked into them, so now they're fighting for him. Yeah, there's also this really cool sword, apparently, that I wield, but I don't know where it is. So, to summarize, I need to save the kingdom, and more specifically, this princess from a demon and a bunch of hacked robots. So you're telling me that this guy's daughter is over there, right? How do I, how do I look? So you're telling me this guy's daughter is in that castle, fighting off a beast, and he decided to send me on a wild treasure hunt before giving me a glider and telling me to get there and help, you know, save her. Well, I guess that means it's finally time to get off the Great Plateau, go adventure out in this beautiful world, and try to save Hyrule. I did his jump. Oh. Oh, yes. And that's what I'm talking about right there. Into the unknown. Who knows what adventure awaits us, but probably a good one. No, no, I wanted to jump. On the way, though, to meet whoever Impa is, I found this shrine, which means it is shrine time. We're gonna hit it, hit it with a little tap, a little tappity tap, a little tippity tippity tap. So just bam bam. Oh, yeah. Day five, Link is still having some problems swimming. I believe in you, Link. Yeah, he isn't gonna make it. However, I did unlock my first tower, besides the Great Plateau one. That's kind of cool. I'm not supposed to admit that, but that is pretty cool. Anyways, enough wasting time. I got a village to head to. These horse controls kind of suck. Like, I can't, I can't bank where the, where the shit on this thing. This is a nice little village here, you know? It's a place I'd settle down with that one special girl that doesn't exist. Is that? Yes, it's a Sheikah Slade, all right? After meeting all those adoring fans in the village, though, I need to meet Grandma? Okay. To deliver. What if she just dies here? It'd be kind of funny. Oh. oh, come on. All right, another story time. What words did she leave me? Oh. Why did she give me that look? Free the four divine beasts. So I guess my primary objective now is to tame all four of those massive hacked robots. All right, let's do it. This whole time, I could have had cold resistance when I was up in that mountain, but no, no, I gotta run around with a torch like an idiot. All right, what else can I cook? Day six, I guess it's time to head off towards my first divine beast. First step is to head this way. <laughs> okay, my, my bad bird. I'm always down to meet new people. What's up? Oh my God. Okay, don't, don't, this is why you don't help strangers. After this horrific encounter, I really want to unlock the map in this area, so I got a tower to conquer. So seriously, in all these years, no one's tried to, like, 
recreate one of these slates or whatever. No one's, no one's just taking a rock of like similar shape and be like, I wonder what'll happen if I just slide it on in here. And my God, what a beautiful sunset. You know what, Link? We're doing all right for day six. If that right there isn't a wallpaper, I don't know what is. That is goddamn beautiful. I then wanted to explore more of the map, so I headed off into the unknown, but it turns out I headed in the one direction that was already known, so yeah, I already explored here. It's now day seven, and I found a new shrine. Detonation will occur in five, four, three, two, one. Feels good to be the best. And after beating that one, you know what? I want to do another one. Okay, well, what, what do I got to put in there? And another shrine successfully solved by your boy. And now I have set my eyes on another tower that I want to unlock because I want to keep unlocking the map. So let's go do that. Should be easy. <laughs> oh, shit. Are you kidding me? Please, not, don't rain now. Are you kidding? Oh my god, dude. Very early on day eight, I finally conquered this pain in the ass tower. <laughs> this guy got popped up by me, spawning in. After that weird encounter, I headed to a nearby shrine, which turned out to not be a good idea. Uh oh. Are you shitting me, dude? What? What? Hey, yo, this is not what I signed up for. What the f <laughs> What am I supposed to do against that? I have a pitchfork, dude. Yeah, I think I'll come back to that shrine just a little bit later. For now, I want to go talk to this prince. Link is a good name. It is a strong name, I agree. Oh. Grants a mid-level resistance to electricity. Useful against enemies with electrical attacks. You see, here's the problem. This guy just gave me a drink to fight electrical dudes. However, I have not yet fought an electrical dude. Well, let's go up this path to Zora's domain. I'm sure it will not be hectic. You know what? I think this is where we run. Also, didn't know I was playing Harry Potter. Why am I fighting a wizard? Oh. Like, what? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, there's wizards in this game. Of course there's wizards in this game. What is this? Lightning rod. A magical rod that can shoot balls of electricity. Please. Just before midnight, though, I finally made it to Zora's domain and went to talk to the king. That should be fun. Oh, is that a living thing? I thought that was like a giant seat. <laughs> Doesn't ring a bell, buddy. I can't even, what? what is that? How am I supposed to fight that thing? This guy has one pose, bro. Every time the camera pans to him, it's just Flex the biceps, show off the whitened teeth. I got braces, I'm good. It's now day nine and I gotta go make peace with this guy who's racist against Hylians. So, Hylian? Hylians? Hylians? What, whichever pronunciation is correct, comments. But yeah, it's time for memory and some proof. Or Link's just sitting here like, what's going on? Oh, so that's the, uh, the divine beast. An elephant. I was what am I wearing? Yo, Link does not skip leg day. I have some doubt I'll be triumphant, but... Yeah, I gotta go get shock arrows. This should be fun. Some of you might know what's about to happen to me. Got it. Okay. I, it's not going well. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out the parry and dodge mechanics. Okay, let's see if I can't beat this thing. Hmm. So this, this is this is not gonna be fun, is it? This is gonna be a long. It's gonna be a long one. <sighs> this is horrible. 
<laughs> There's nothing going correctly here. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Dude, that did so little. Di I got three perfect flurry rushes there. How am I going to kill this guy? I need better weapons. Like, straight up. I don't... You don't see me. Oh, whoa! Okay, he saw me. Turns out this might have been a stealth mission, and by might have, I mean was. So I snuck around getting arrows, but don't you worry, I will be back, and I will conquer you one day. Just not today. God damn, I wish I knew this was a stealth mission, and sooner I could have, you know, I could have done something. So I need to get this divine beast on my side, right? So I think it's right there. But with those shock arrows now collected, I have everything I need to fight a divine beast. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey, can we, uh, can we get moving? Coming faster now. No, that did not hit me. This is dumb. This is dumb. This is so dumb. I am hitting. I'm hitting it. That better be it. I almost died right there at the end. And then I head inside all by my lonesome. You can walk. Oh, wonderful. Just ditch me. You will see several glowing points on your map, which represent the terminals that control Ruta. Take Ruta back by activating all of the terminals. Day 10, I am continuing to solve all the puzzles inside this divine beast. Yeah, actually, that is what I spent all day doing. When in doubt, bomb it out. You activated all the terminals. Well, it's now day 11 and I've completed all the puzzles, which I guess means I'm done with this divine beast. Oh, nope. It is time for my first boss fight. Oh, I was muted that whole time. God damn it. Like, I don't know what to do. I mean, I'm, do I'm dodging. I'm dodging. I'm dodging. I am dodging. Ready? 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 Here he comes. Dodge! But no, 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 no. Oh, boy. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Piss off! God damn it, dude. I was so close. Yes! 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 After quite a lot of blood sweat, actually mostly just tears, I have finally conquered my first boss and my first divine beast. Time to collect my rewards and get some lore. You are not fitting through that cav cavern, dude. I'm sorry to say. Let's go, dude. What a, I am hyped. This divine beast is ready to take on that castle. Let's go. Dude, this game's got me caring about fish, like. And I had salmon today, so, you know, this game, this game's pretty good so far. Well, with Zora's domain freed, it's time to continue exploring the map. All these shrines are cool too. Dude, I'm just... I hate this game when I'm doing boss fights, but I like this game right now. Eve ho on my way. Stomp, 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 stomp. Robbie's research side quest. Slated for updates. The morning of day 12, I had my first ever blood moon. I then went back to talk to Impa, who more or less told me I gotta go find some memories and gave me another main quest, so that's cool, I guess. Okay, so, not gonna lie, I was expecting a little more than that. Anyways, time to head off to the next divine beast. What is that? You see that? That's gotta be one of the divine beasts, right? Of course, I will never turn down a good shrine or tower along the way. Come on. Please. Alright. 
Look at that. Big brain. Big brain strategies. Woo-wee. Another shrine completed. Day 13, I am still attempting to scale one of these towers, and it's not going well, but you know what? I'm persistent. Damn, dude. What? Hit, dude, 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 dude. God damn, what was that? I thought I was home free, and then I just got shot. A lot of people thought I couldn't do it. A lot of people. Well, I'm actually the only one playing this, but you're all watching it. And you probably didn't think I'd do it either. So, yeah. After this, I want to do another shrine, so that's what I'm going to do. And another shrine, just because I can. Then, like the simple creature I am, I see tower, and I want to activate tower. The morning of day 14, I fulfill my caveman urges and activate the tower. That went, like, suspiciously well. <laughs> I was expecting worse. Now let's make the mistake of trying to fly towards the active volcano. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Well, that didn't work, so I guess I'll make my way around it, stopping at another tower along the way, of course. Two towers, one day. Good stuff, bandit. Good stuff indeed. Then I stop here and find this person who will sell me some fireproof elixirs. And with these in hand, I can now start making my way towards the next divine beast. What boss fight did I just end? No, I am not ready for a boss fight. Do they- wait. Do they really have kids out here working the mines? That's a bit messed up, yo. In pretty cruel conditions, if I do say so myself. Early on day 15, the objective was to get flameproof armor, as I didn't want to burn to death here. And also, I apologize for my mic over the next two days. I didn't realize it switched to my shitty, like, webcam mic or something, but yeah. Alright, one second. Is this enough? Perfect. I am now heat resistant. Clearly though, one piece of armor isn't enough, so I guess I'll need one more. Okay, so apparently I just don't have... I'm not fireproof? However, now that I have it, I can continue on trying to figure out this whole lava area. Get wrecked. <laughs> oh, that's too good. Mipha's grace is ready. Oh, that's what that is. I thought the elephant was like recharging or something. That's Mipha's grace. Okay, so every time that reloads, I get that extra live. It's now early on day 16, but I need to start making my way up this mountain in order to get inside the massive fiery divine beast. First though, I need to protect this rock dude. He, he was so close, man, he was right there. You can make it, you can make it, buddy. Come on, come on, waddle, waddle. This guy is, <laughs> he's, my boy's right in the edge. I would like to say this went smoother, but it didn't, so. After a long day of climbing, though, I was finally able to enter this divine beast. You'll need to okay, so same deal. All of, the terminals. all of day 17 was solving puzzles inside of the divine beast. Whatever that. What's this one called? Shit. Oh, uh, Van Rudania. That's it. Van Rudania. I was. I spent today solving the puzzles inside Van Rudania. All right. Well, that'll work. Rotate, okay, boys. Well. <laughs> Uh, and now we roll you back down this way. Am I right? Yeah. Give me some. Like a Plinko machine. Day 18, I realized that I couldn't get this fifth and final terminal without a bunch of arrows, so I went to Goron City. However, I actually had to get some arrows some other ways, so I went and killed some lizards because, well, apparently that's a good way to do it. So I just... I've played some Assassin's Creed in my time. Oh! They see me. Anyways, now it's time to head back to Van Redania. Okay. 
Now, what do you want to bet? It's going to be a boss fight. I'll bet the farm on it. And with all the terminals done, it's boss fight time. Stop calling me little guy. Did I just... Dude, that, that didn't take that long! I'm goaded! Honestly, this boss wasn't too challenging. I was fairly happy with how fast I beat it. So, it is a lore time. And give my regards to the princess. Just call me Link, man. Just call me Link. You don't need to, you don't need to keep... Like a backhanded compliment, you know? Little guy, little guy, little guy, little guy, little guy. You know what you are, Link? You're a little guy. Why is that so cool? Oh my god. Well, that ought to do it. Why am I getting emotional over a rock? Like... <laughs> I've used this excuse before too, man. I got you. After all that, a hero deserves to rest for the night. The morning of day 19, I actually figured out that you regain health from sleeping, so I should probably be doing that a little more often. But today I was curious about where the Master Sword was, because apparently it was in a forest, and there happens to be a forest right by me. So let's go check it out. I kind of want to use a big boy. Where am I going? Why is there a cutscene between each? Oh. Okay, so I guess I gotta follow the torches. Okay, well this is beautiful. Dude, my game is lagging balls. Let me guess, I can't pull it out? Damn straight, I have no idea who you are, broski. You're currently- <laughs> Thanks, man. Oh, okay, so I need a certain amount of hearts. Yeah, so apparently I need a certain amount of hearts in order to pull this sword out, which means it is shrine time. But dude, I slept for a hundred years. I mean, give me- me some credit here. The morning of day 20, I am still in a shrine. And I think that should work. Right? Perfect. After getting out, I've got some trials apparently I gotta do. And you know what? I'm feeling up to it. Let's do it. Korok trials. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. What is going on? Uh, where's the trap? Oh, look at that, dude. The elephant and the lizard are there. Because I've gotten them both. Oh, yeah, that's cool, actually. What the hell? I never noticed that. The hungry trees will show you the way. Spy, spy their iron to win the day. After a blood moon, it is now day 21, and I am still doing the second trial. The trial of second sight. Woo. All right, where'd it rise? Okay. Now I need to stalk this guy through the forest for the third trial, which is a bit weird, but you know what? I can do that. God damn it. Yes, I am. You are brave. Good job, little buddy. Proud of you. It's around now, I really want to start focusing on getting the towers and shrines, or as many of them as I can, just so I have the map and as many hearts as I can. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I spent the rest of the day doing. Like, it's just not gonna go well for you, buddy. Okay, please be easy. A modest test of strength. Club might be too powerful. Day 22, let's continue on my exploring towers and shrine journey. Wonderful. Hello, finding the moolah. <laughs> uh, feels good to be the best. Yeah, so it turns out I accidentally marked both of these days down as day 22, and considering I've already recorded everything, I, you know, I, I'm not gonna just pretend this day doesn't exist. So yeah, day 22 is a double length day, I guess, where we're still doing towers and shrines. There we go. Just another tower done. Come on. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go, ya boy can do it. Day 23, I'm still doing what I've been doing, so let's see together where today's adventure led me. Up, up, we go. Row, row, row your boat. 
gently down the stream. Well, uh, there's the fourth divine beast, I guess. Okay, one, two, three, four. I got five more places to unlock. The morning of day 24, I am doing a relatively annoying shrine. What am I doing, dude? Then I accomplish possibly my most impressive feat up to this point of getting up the central tower. Dude, if I can some, how the hell am I gonna get up this tower? <laughs> if I make it up this tower, look at all of the turrets, dude. You know, they say stupidity doesn't persevere, but here I am. Yeah, with that done, I can conquer anything, I think. So, more shrines. That was the most badass thing I've ever done. It is now day 25, which means I am one quarter of the way through this playthrough. And how do I celebrate this staple of a day? Tower. Oh, shit. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Don't do it. 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 Thank God. Well, let's just keep going, I guess. Oh, there's a shrine over there. And I would like to get, so, yeah. Early on day 26, I was going to get a new heart when I saw something strange. Is that a shooting star? I still don't know what that dragon is, dude. <laughs> uh, obviously, I gotta go check this out. Yeah, didn't find anything, so let's go continue on with business as normal. A gift for the great fairy? I'm... I gotta say, I'm intrigued by this. Either way, we're there. Wonderful. Another tower done. Okay, seems like this great fairy might be real after all. Tough choice. You know, I gotta see what happens. This guy gave me his life savings, so... At the end of the day, though, I really don't think I can beat this shrine. A major test of strength. Ugh. Huh. I don't know about this one. The morning of day 27, though, I managed to prove myself wrong. There's no way that's the one I beat on the first try. I then wanted to Gordon Ramsay that shit, so I spent all morning cooking. And then, I won't lie, accidentally, I didn't even notice where I was, I made my way to another divine beast. Oh. That's not good. Well, shit, I made it. Damn. <laughs> I'm here for the shrine, bro. I guess that means I have a new divine beast to conquer and a lot to do here in Rito Village, so let's get to it. Hey, buddy. No. I'm good with my level 26 bows, dude. What up, brother? Dude, that guy's got biceps. My god. Oh. One more. Mm, easy peasy. And after what might have been the fastest training session in history, it's time for me to start taking on this divine beast. All I have written in my notes for day 28 is let's take down this big ass bird. Four. Holy god. How did that not kill me, dude? <laughs> Boom. We? What do you mean we did it? No, 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 no. I did it. You flew around. <laughs> they put glass floors in this thing just... Just because. Just because they could. 28 is let's take down this big-ass bird. By the end of day 28, though, I had managed to get four of the five terminals done. And wouldn't you know it, the morning of day 29, I finished that fifth and final terminal. I guess that means it is boss fight time. Uh, wonderful. All right, let's do it. Thank you, Mifa. All right, perfect. Mifa's grace coming through with the clutch there at the end. After beating this boss on only my second attempt, it was time for all the lore and rewards. That's three red lasers. That is badass as shit. Born from the spirit of it. Creates an upward draft that carries you up in this guy. Activated by charging jump with X. Oh, that's sick. That is sick. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I then tried to pull out the Master Sword again to no avail. And then realized I hadn't actually completed the Divine Beast quest. So I should probably do that. 
the morning of day 30, I'm back at the Great Plateau praying and realize I only have one more tower left to find before the entire map is unlocked, so I want to go do that. So there's only one more section of the map I need to unlock. Now, I don't know. I didn't see the tower on this side, so I'm assuming it's maybe down here somewhere. There's just a guy playing a violin up there. With... There's not the violin, sorry, the Concordian, but... There we go. That's the whole map. Complete map of Hyrule Extracted. Let's go, dude. Now that the entire map is unlocked, I want some more hearts, so shrines. Those are very easy puzzles, I'll say. Definitely could have been more difficult. It is now day 31, and I am making my way towards the fourth divine beast over here in Sandtown. However, there's a shrine outside I want to do first. Here we get this shrine so I can teleport here whenever I want to. Boom. Who said that circuit's course wouldn't come in handy? Yeah, apparently they're very fashion sensitive here and I have to dress a certain way, so I'm off to a bazaar to try to figure out how to dress. Let's see, is this the bazaar? God damn, Link, let's go! Absolute baddie. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Day 32, I got the new fit, so I can head into this town, look around a little bit, and then talk to the leader. Hello, Riju. I got a divine beast to kill and then a princess to save. Traveler. Yep. Hmm. After getting roasted for not having the sword, I decided to put my mind to it. You know what? I want to get the sword. I need to get hearts though, which means I need to get shrines, so that's what I'm going to spend a decent amount of time doing. First though, it's about time I register a horse, and what should I name it? Perfect. I'm going to register this, this horsey boy. Yep, if you know, you know. And with my new horse toast, it's shrine time. There we go. Wonderful. Day 33, I got some more shrines to do. Come on. It should be enough. Oh, goaded. I am goaded, man. And now I think I have enough spirit orbs to get all the hearts I need, though there is one thing in my way. Lightning. Uh-oh, am I going to get struck by lightning? God damn it. Not now, man. Maybe I can just sleep this storm off? It is now day 34 and I figured out a way to avoid the lightning. I was just given a tip that if and only if you put away your metal tools, lightning won't strike you. I wish I knew that before I skipped a day, but you know. With that, I now have as many hearts as I need, so let's go pull out. That's what she said. Come on. Come on, Link. We can do this, buddy. We can do this, buddy. with a quarter heart to spare. With the Master Sword now equipped, I start heading back to Gerdu Town, but realize that one of the quests for the memories that I haven't even started yet, I recognize one of the locations. So what if I go get my first memory now? Yeah. This is a memory, right? He's got some nice eyes. Anyways, with all that done, I think it's about time I start doing this Divine Beast thing, which means I gotta head to a Thieves' Hideout. They're Masters of Disguise. This has gotta be them. Like, what else could this be? What's with all the bananas? My god! Rockin' around the Christmas tree. It's now day 35, and I've got a boss to fight. Oh. Uh. Uh-oh. Turned out that this was actually the easiest member of the Yiga clan to kill. Ironically. Why? Alright, let's return this heirloom. <laughs> <coughs> 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 
Bro, I took a drink. I, I thought it was like a pin. I guess it's Divine Beast number four time. Oh! I'm using the wrong goddamn arrows. Holy crap, dude. My god, that was difficult. Really? The morning of day 36, I am still trying to solve puzzles inside this divine beast, and it's probably the most confusing one so far. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That was not at all what I intended to do, but we take those. Okay, perfect. One to go. All five terminals. Now that I have all the terminals unlocked, though, it's time for the fourth boss fight. And you know what? This should be pretty easy, right? Hopefully this is like one of the easier ones. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. How do you block that? There is valor in dodge. Dude. Like Like I'm beat. Th there's nothing I can do to counter that. Yeah, it wasn't easy like at all. It was actually pretty frustrating and annoying, but I'm persistent and I got there. Come on. Come on. No way. Let's go, dude. I brute forced my way through that first try. So, yeah, lore and reward time. Okay, that thing looks that thing looks so sick. Oh my god. Dude, she is chiseled. Oh my god. Look at those abs. What? Powerful lightning. By holding Y. Day 37, now that I have all the Divine Beasts solved, I want to go talk to Impa because, well, I feel like she'll have some insight on what to do now. On the way, though, I met this Maraca man. Who the hell are you, bro? <laughs> what powers you got here? Mmm. Okay, nope, you got me interested now. After that, it was time to talk to Impa, who more or less told me to go fight Ganon, but unfortunately... I got about 63 more days, so yeah, my bad. I did cook up some cool shit though and find this shrine that I probably should have found a while ago, and it was kind of a tutorial shrine, so it was a bit annoying at the point I'm at now, but you know what? It's a, it's an extra thing, right? It's an extra orb. Good to get this tutorial after I've beaten all the bosses. Day 38, even though I've got all four divine beasts, I have barely scratched the surface of what this game has to offer, so I want to go exploring, unlocking shrines, doing all the cool stuff. So yeah, I, I guess I'll go do that, starting with shrines today. Okay, this was stupid. <laughs> the great hero has, has drowned. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I give up, so uh, what's this one over here? Hopefully it's like a boss fight or something easier, my god. Oh, okay, 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 I'm... I'm picking up what you're putting down here. Okay. So I need to make them look the same. Um, okay. No, I can do that. Also, I definitely didn't abuse the fact that I'm a YouTuber and recording and go back and rewatch the recordings of these to figure out which of these shrines matched up to which one. Definitely didn't do that. We each deal with the cards we're dealt, right? And mine happens to be that OBS has been running, so I can give you an entertaining video. And for me, it makes these puzzles a lot easier. <laughs> oh man, I guess I gotta go in the other one too. All right, collect that shit. Day 39 started with shrines, of course. This led into a side quest I wanted to get started on called Robbie's Research. So let's head up there. I'm sure it'll be a peaceful path. Is he asking me to undress? Okay, so I had to strip? What's the, what's going on here, dude? <laughs> what? <laughs> strip tease in front of this guy. Is it... That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> what up, uh, Robbie? Day 40 was spent trying to get this blue flame back to Robbie's research place. 
This pathway sucks. Oh boy, okay. Well, let's do what's gotta be done. Are you... Really? Yeah, that's right. Rain. Rain put out my torch. God damn it. I then went to a nearby inn and skipped to the next day in hopes that the storm would be gone. Day 41, the storm was not gone, so I decided to head up to the lava area around Goron City to do shrines, as I hadn't gotten many in that area. Hello. Oh. What's up, dude? Yeah, what up, brother? Oh my god, this is like David Goggins, dude. <laughs> there we go. Let's go! Yeah, all day was doing shrines, actually. Imagine the other Gup brothers here, like, Hey, brother! Got another challenge for you! The morning of day 42, I do a nice, easy shrine, then head back and start carrying the blue flame again. Are you serious? Really? Yep. It rained. Again. So, back to shrines. Ha <laughs> uh. God, I'm smart. Alright, let's go. The morning of day 43, I go to cash in some of my spirit orbs and I end up with two full stamina circles, which is awesome. And I can't lie, at this point it's becoming a problem because I'm a bit addicted to the shrine grind. Nah, I'm just kidding, it's not a problem. I'm going to do some more, though. It's a cold-ass shrine, but... As long as you got full health, you are good. And I will get my full health back in here. You see, these are the best kinds of shrines. The ones where it just gives you the reward. You don't gotta go searching for it or whatever. You don't gotta do some puzzles. You just get yourself a spirit orb. Later in the day, I ran into one of the fun shrines. I don't even know where I got that fire sword from, but I like it. Oh, fuck. I also met a tobogganing expert. Huh? Sure? Oh. The Duchess of Downhill. And finally went back and it wasn't raining so I could carry my blue flame. Let's just try to get this flame up before it starts raining again, dude. <laughs> Day 44 started off pretty hectic. God damn you. Holy crap, dude. That took way too goddamn long. Oh my god, finally. However, the furnace is now lit, and I can get ancient equipment, arrows, and a bunch of other cool stuff up here, which is, you know, awesome, because that equipment's good. And I have an ancient bow. That's nice. It's at this point I'm a little bored of the shrines. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll come back to it, don't you fret. But for now, I want to go get these memories that Link's been chasing forever, so it's time to start hunting them down. This looks like the spot up here, right? Not anytime soon. <laughs> Got that right. Oh my god. Up here, maybe? This looks like a knife. Yes! Finally. As brave as you are, that does not make you immortal. True. I've learned that this playthrough. Oh my god. It seems that not only is the frequency of these types of attacks on the rise, but the scale of beasts we are facing is intensifying as well. Day 45 was a long day of memory hunting with a little sprinkle of shrines in between. Oh, that one hurt. Okay. <laughs> How am I supposed to find that? Holy shit. Hello. Got another memory. Huh. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, that was that was the easiest memory I've found so far. And stop following me! Man, oh shit, I'll go on vacation. You can fight Calamity again and all by your damn self. Okay. There we go. That boy is a living reminder of her own failures. Well, at least that's how the princess sees him. Well, that's really uplifting. <laughs> the morning of day 46, I got another memory. Over here. It's over here. It's, it's gotta be. Ah, there we go. 
You'd be a perfect candidate for the study. You asking me to eat a frog? Tasty. <laughs> Poor frog. <laughs> That leaves me five memories to go, and these five are the ones I don't recognize at all. I have no idea where they might be, but I think I can figure it out with some perseverance, so let's get to it. And while I had almost no luck all day right before midnight... Uh, oh. <laughs> oh man, that took way too long. That's a pretty dope view, I gotta admit. See that mountain? Day 47, my memories were flowing, and now I think I recognize where this one is, so let's go check out a hunch. No way! There's another thingy down here, dude. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that! Is it? What's wrong with me? Well, that's a bit depressing. I was excited after finding this place. Later in the day, I was talking to Impa to see if she had any hints. She didn't. And I happened to stumble across something I hadn't found before. No way! Another fairy. Let's go. I wonder how many of these fairies there are. Dude, that's like... I just barely wandered around and just happened to find one. Like, like dude, look at how much of this map I haven't explored. I just happened to stumble across that. Like, what other shit is there for me to accidentally stumble across? Hey, okay. Well, guess I found my next, uh, thingy. Uh-oh. This is Ganon taking over. Lava guy is always so nice. Bird guy's an asshole. Chick, desert chick is, uh, she's kind of mean. Day 48, I knew this next memory was in the castle somewhere, obviously. I did a quick Google search to check out, like, not where it was, but, like, to make sure I wouldn't accidentally start a boss fight going in here. Turns out I wouldn't as long as I avoided the main hallway. So, let's go looking. I think that's it there. I just gotta get up that tower. I gotta get up to where that thing is. Okay. That you are the heir to a throne of nothing. Nothing but failure. That's a bit harsh, dude. With that done, I only have one memory to go. Now, you all might judge me for this, but I was looking at a bunch of trees, okay? So I just happened to find it, right? Yeah, that's it. Just nothing suspicious going on here with this last memory at all. Wow, I definitely found this one legitly. It was all for nothing. So I really am just a failure. All my friends, the entire kingdom, my father most of all. I tried and I failed. <laughs> You're okay, Zelda. Bro, why am I tearing up in real life? What the hell? I can't even lie, by the way. I was, like, tearing up during this last memory. Like, that's crazy. Like, games don't usually make me feel this way. Like, I don't know what's going on. Day 49, I went to talk to Impa because she said to talk to her after I had found every memory. Wait to show you this. Oh. Turned out there was one memory to go, so let's go find it. All right, guys. I think it's time to see this memory, though, that, uh, that Zelda gave us so long ago. Thank. Save yourself. Go. I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. Run! Oh god, I said I was gonna defeat Ganon later, but like, after that... Oh... <laughs> after this memory had concluded, I was really motivated to take down Ganon, and I googled to see if I could, like, beat Ganon now and continue to play after. But I can't, I have to wait till day 100 to beat Ganon, which... It, it, it's heartbreaking, I won't lie. It is heartbreaking. So I guess for now, it's time for a nice view. 
Day 50, I wanted to do something special, and I was motivated to play a lot more of this game, so I bought the DLC. I got a ton of new quests from this DLC, but let's start with the main one because, well, that makes the most sense. Ask me. What's up? Yeah. Well, I was gonna go defeat a monster, actually, but yeah, I guess it counts. Go to the Shrine of Resurrection and return the Sheikah Slate to its terminal. Divine Beast Tamer's Trial? Hey, yo! I worked hard for those! Oh my god, this is gonna be a tough trial! <laughs> oh, this is not gonna be good, dude. Just so you guys know, recording-wise, day 50 was the longest day in the entire playthrough just based on all the deaths and stuff. <laughs> oh no, oh no, this game, this is not gonna go well, boys. Yeah. Perfect. Alright, what hoops you gonna make me jump through this time, Mr. Shrine? Day 51, I am down three of the shrines on the Great Plateau, so let's go get that fourth and final one. Thank God, okay. I like that I got the checkpoint. There we go. That's all four done. Four spikes on it, maybe? With the Great Plateau done, it sent me off to four locations, kinda near all four of the Divine Beasts, so I imagine those regions. Anyways, let's head off to the first one. Wait, so each location I go to reveals three more locations I have to go to? Is that it? Oh. So from what I'm getting, these are the trials this champion did. And I'm gonna guess I'm gonna have to go around all four of the champions and do the trials that those champions did to get access to their Divine Beasts. And once I'm done all those, maybe I've proven my worth to get mine. So it looks like each region is going to have three shrines that I need to find and complete. I just want my shrine. All that I did day 52 was shrines. That's it. Let me just read this, <laughs> this, this quest one more time. Okay, thank God. I thought I had to kill it again. <laughs> I thought I had to kill the thing. No. Come on. Yes. Open the path to a new challenge. Like, what button do I need to hit? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. By the way, this last shrine wasn't actually a part of the quest. I just saw it and I wanted that spirit orb. Day 53, apparently I got to head to the divine beast. So let's go there and see what it wants. Another trial. Oh boy. I have beat you already. Oh, so they, they gave me what I got. No shield. There we go. Yeah, so I if I had to throw out a random guess, each location is gonna have three shrines and then I'm gonna have to re-beat the boss I already beat just with weapons of the game's choice. Honestly, a pretty cool concept. But for now, lore time. How did he lose to that wind guy? This guy's overpowered. Revali's Gale Plus? Less time to recharge. Okay. Honestly, a more effective version of each of these, like, champion things that I got, a Revali's Gale Plus, I will take that, and I can't wait to see what the rest of them are. So let's head straight to the next location. I hear the music. This is hot. <laughs> Very hot. <gasps> no! I hit the wrong button. Oh no. Day 54, I am still in the lava zone doing these shrines. I'm confused about how I'm supposed to beat this guy. Sacrifice has to be made. I get him. Perfect. And with those shrines done, it's time to beat a Divine Beast boss. Is it gonna be another similar boss fight? Let's see. Uh -huh. 
Perfect. <laughs> Imagine seeing that run at you. Like they always say, on to the next one. Guard will be kept up, ma'am. So those are my three three travel points. So why don't we go from here to here to here to here? Boom! It is now day 55, and these water challenges have been the hardest so far, and it hasn't really been close, honestly. Judge me. This is what I bought the damn thing for. There we go. Huh. Hopefully that's all of it. That took every ancient arrow I had. After getting two of the challenges done, this last one requires me to wait till the morning, so yeah, I guess I'll wait till the morning. As the sun rose on day 56, I followed the light to the last shrine. Oh, there. There it is. I see it. I see what I need to see. That is in the middle of nowhere. And with all three done, you know what time it is. First boss I ever beat in this game. Got him. That was tougher than I remembered, but still got a first try. Sweet Sidon, should fate ever part us, I'm counting on you to protect our beloved home from harm. Mm. And he did. And he struck a pose while doing it. Well, that is three of the four areas done, so might as well head straight to the fourth. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm here, dude. I wanted to get some rest that night, so I stopped in my favorite town and decided I was going to try this spa plan thing, and my god, the sounds it made at night. Wake me up at noon. Hi. Uh, what is going on here? What are these sound effects? Day 57, it is sand seal time. A little spicy out, but that's alright. Then yeah, electric shrine. Oh. Nope. I do gotta mention though that the map was really messed up when I did get out of this shrine. Uh. What, what? Am I just like, off the map? Like. <laughs> Day 58, I am out of the sandstorm, so it's time to continue on with business as usual. Do I have to go back? Oh. Oh, hello. Maybe this guy knows something. Oh, shit. I can't crouch. I can't crouch! Run, 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 run. Now, I believe... Throw the orb into the bottomless pit. Good stuff. Very good stuff, actually. Some would even say impressive stuff. Do I have to count the amount of the balls in here? Are you kidding me? Right, let's start with the pink. So, one. After doing that Yiga clan thing, I just had to go kill this really easy boss. Should be very simple. Okay. This thing is powerful. hell do I beat this thing, dude? Alright, yeah, turns out Urbosa's Fury is actually really overpowered, so I'll probably abuse that more. Anyways, I should finish this final shrine. Final shrine solved. Let's go. Imagine we got a boss fight ahead of us. Day 59, I gotta fight the Phantom Thunderblight Ganon, which was the hardest of the original boss fights I did, so I was a little bit worried. However, I got it first try like a badass. Ah, too good. Too good at this game. First try. <laughs> That's a pretty good power to have. With all four locations now fully completed, though, I got invited to the final trial. And I can't lie, I am so, so, so ready for whatever lies ahead. It's time to face the final trial. You've said that before. Holy shit. <laughs> this looks a little bit nutty. We'll see what happens here, but I think I'm going to start rotating this now. Right? Got it. Got to unlock a door. I 
I gotta get into there. I don't know who designed this, but this is sick. <laughs> like, this is such an awesome trial. Oh my god. I love it. Love it. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. That's what it. I'm, that's trying to turn it with the ice there, but that's not what it was. I just need a platform. Day 60, I'm still inside this underground divine beast trying to solve some of the terminals. That's three locks done. Does it change? The, does this. Okay. That's what I thought. Alright, up we go. With all four terminals done, though, I could finally unlock this big ass door. And. Boom. The door is open. Think I did it? Think I did it, guys? Oh? That looks like I got one more to do. What followed was, looking back on it, easily the hardest boss fight in this game. Ow. Oh, dude, that, that hits. Dude, this thing hits. Oh, dude, this is ridiculous. Okay, um... Holy crap. After dying a few times in a long, bloody, and brutal battle, consuming most of my food, a lot of my good weapons, my best bow, along with pretty much all of my arrows, I was finally able to beat this thing. Let's go, dude. Took a claymore, a bow, pretty much every meal I had, but I got it. So let's see what my reward is. Oh, that's a divine. That's a divine beast music. Okay, I'm getting my own divine beast here. What's it gonna be? What is that? Is that a motorbike? I did all this for a Harley? It's now day 61, by the way. Oh, will he finally get to finish his song too? That champion's ballard. Give it to me, Birdman. Mifa, he looks so tense. Deep breaths, okay? <laughs> right. Uh. <laughs> Why do I have tears in my eyes, people watching this video? That's awesome. After that pretty awesome moment, yeah, I, I gotta test this thing out. That one new line. Pretty cool. A little slower than I would have thought, but it's alright. Well, with everything now tested out, all of those DLC quests I got. I really want to start doing, and most of them are treasure hunts that require a book. One book that I gotta find, so let's go look for that. Well, that might have been the fastest I've ever found something. Pretty easy to find this book. Anyways, I want this evil armor set, so that's what I'm gonna spend the next few days looking for. Ouch. What the? Hey! Are you serious? This did a, did a drive-by. Day 62 was a day of evil armor hunting. Okay, I found one, and that looks uh, kind of cool. I think this is the second piece. Perfection. Bro, Link looks like an absolute menace in this. I like it. I like it. The morning of day 63, I got perhaps the worst payment for getting rid of a group of bandits I have ever gotten in my life. You know what? I'm beating you to death with your own weapon, brother. Yep. A carrot. A carrot. I just killed all those bandits. For a carrot. Anyways, I was then reading about a really good saddle and bridle that I want for a really good horse. So, you know what I'm doing. That looks like an EX chest to me. There we go. Give me it. <laughs> uh, I like it. I like it. It's gotta be. It's here somewhere. Hey, buddy. Now that I have both items at the end of the day, 
I realized I wanted the best horse for this stuff, and I remember there being a side quest for some royal white stallion, so I'm gonna go do that. So I'm looking for a bright white horse. The morning of day 64, I'm looking for a stallion, not Megan. Come on. I can get this. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Oh, man. This is my horse now. After capturing it, of course, I had to take it for a beautiful ride. Once I got it back to the stable, though, I actually need to make it love me more before I can put whatever saddle and stuff on it that I want. So we're going for a longer ride. What's wrong with you? Oh, I think it's a trap. Yeah. Uh. You try to be compassionate with these assholes. After it finally loves me though, my horse is now overpowered and I like it. So if I just... Oh, that is too cool, man. Day 65 I forgot to record, so this is footage from day 66, even though it says day 65. Essentially, all I did day 65 was I went to the big ass tree, because there was something called the Trial of the Sword, and I thought it would be a short little side quest. Oh my god, was I wrong. This turned out to be the longest quest I did in the entire game. But yeah, I just kind of started to do the Trial of the Sword and got frustrated because I kept dying. Anyways, it's now day 66, and I am still dying on the Trial of the Sword. The beginning of the Trial of the Sword, I should say. No, no, no. Fuck. I'm, I'm, this runs, this runs over. You take a hit, it's over. Day 67, I am slowly losing my sanity in the beginning Trial of the Sword. Okay, that's six done. Well, that's as far as I've ever made it. Good to know I used every arrow along the way. I guess this is like a restock room. Oh no. Well, this is it. It's been good. This is how I die. Oh, and if you're wondering, I'm going in about 30 minute increments for the days right now because if I counted this all as one day, holy shit, this would have been like a 15 hour day. <laughs> well, this, uh, this is unfortunate. <laughs> To say the least. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. No. Oh man. 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 I gotta get through all of these in one hit. I'll give you three guesses to try to figure out what I'm doing on day 68. I'm figuring out that slow and steady seems to be the way to go here. Ooh, that was close. That was very close, actually. Do a bit of damage, but didn't take any. So, I'm just going to let him kill me at this point. No! No! Are you ki- Oh, man. They can summon lightning attacks? How do I dodge that? You can't. Day 69, I am fairly frustrated, but I'm getting slowly, slowly, very slowly better. And like most good things, they do happen on day 69. So hopefully I can beat it today. Okay. Not dying to thunder again. Shh, dude, those hit. No, 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 no. Yeah, I've got so many arrows now that, like... I'm just gonna unload. Hopefully get my way through the end of this. No. Dude, I'm so focused right now. Come on. Come on. Okay. You're dead. Still doing okay on supplies. So... Did I beat it? I commend your efforts in this trial. Good. Did I win? You're now strong enough to wield more of the Master Sword's power than ever before. More powerful than before. Got it. 30 to 40? Okay. 
Oh, so there's beginning, and I imagine the middle ones will be even more, and then there'll be end trials. So it'll probably go 40 to 50, then 50 to 60. Oh boy, I don't know if I want to do that. Day 70, I had so much false confidence in myself that because I beat the easy beginning trials, I would have some shot at beating the middle trials. So let's try out those middle trials today so I can have my dreams crushed. Okay, I'm going to try the middle trials. I think I'll be able to get this first try, honestly. Okay, yeah, see, I can beat this. Easy, easy peasy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Holy shit. Okay. To start day 71, I take one more attempt at the middle trials. Okay. Gotta, gotta go. Uh, we'll go out and, uh, yeah, no, this is just not happening. I need more hearts. <laughs> Yeah, okay, with those failures, I'm done. I'm done with them. I gotta go get some more hearts. So let's go do some shrine quests. These should be easy, and I definitely won't have to deal with a drunk chick on a shrine slate. Oh boy, who's this guy? So this chick is passed out drunk? All right, let's go buy her a drink. Day 72, I am still on this drunk girl quest of getting ice. Like, this is the dumbest place they could have put it. And like she only operates during the day when it's at its hottest out. No, that's dumb. You, you couldn't have, uh, you couldn't have told me that. Are you telling me I didn't need to get the ice? All I had to do was lie and say, actually, yeah, drinks are over there, and she would have got off the goddamn Sheikah slate. Oh, that was the entire quest. They knew there was gonna be a drunk passed out lady on that thing. After successfully completing that shrine, I decide I want to go explore a relatively unexplored area of the map. What? Oh. What is that? Like, how have I never seen that before? What is that? Day 73, I am a little scared, but this place looks really cool, so let's figure out what the hell this thing is. Got a shrine in the middle. Got his ass. Goodbye. Free the spirit of this region. Shoot him. But he's so cute. Uh, you know what? This is what you want, man. All that for another shrine and another place to pray, though. This one is really close to a shrine, so it's actually convenient to get the rest of my hearts and cash in my spirit orbs from here on out. Later in the day, though, I had done some more shrines and was now officially into my second line of hearts. Oh, let's go we into the second row of hearts. Day 74, I am on this island where I was stripped of everything on my person, so I need to complete a few challenges with nothing but my wits. Thankfully, you know, I got wits. Holy crap, dude. This sucks. Well. Shit. <laughs> oh. God damn it, why? No shame for me. You see, that's why you save your electric shocks there, fellas. And... Hopefully, that's this island done. Oh, what's my reward? That's a nice looking chest. Better have a nice looking item in it. 300 rupees. That's my reward. After this was all done, I met a bird that wanted to train me. And, you know, I thought to myself, what's the worst that could happen? Uh-oh. Okay. I got... I got hit by a lightning, dude. Day 75, these maze-looking things on the map had been bugging me for a while, so I wanted to go see what they were. Turns out they were mazes. Shocker. So I want to do the desert one to start today. Ah, hello. Is it me you're looking for? And with one maze completed, well, I want to do another one. Who spent the time to build this, man? Day 76, I am still in the second maze, and while I'm not finding the right way, I am finding all of the wrong ways, so that's something. Maybe it's this side? I don't know. 
I jumped down here though. I've checked the other side. That's gotta be. Holy dude, that took forever to find. <laughs> I did eventually get there though, and then went to grab myself another heart container. Well, that's two out of three mazes done, so yeah, you know where I'm going. But I will always stop at a shrine along the way. Fuck that. Shift and lock? Huh? This might be more promising. Yes. 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 Let's go. And after a long day of solving mazes, I just want to go back to my favorite village and get some shut eye. Day 77, I was doing a main quest for a fairy fountain that I had already found. Just walk over the hill, man. Not everyone has a camera, dude. After that, I just wanted to cook up. Just mighty bananas. No, 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 no. I call this the I have one of everything left. <laughs> After my five-star Michelin chef meals had been cooked up, I wanted to go explore another area on the map where it looked like I hadn't found any shrines in the lava area. Oof. Terminator. <gasps> Holy shit. That was just mean. The morning of day 78, I was riding a roller coaster because I could. No, no, let me in, let me in. I then explored a few areas that had pretty much nothing in it, but near the end of the day, I found something kind of interesting. What is going on over here? This is like a whole new village, dude. Day 79, I was exploring this new village that I had found. Sure. Yeah, you're starving. I'm not getting that. Um, And then, actually, you already know what's coming. It's a shrine. Of course it is. Look at this. This is a nice view up here. All right, let's do it. Oh, was that it? I was expecting more. I was expecting another complex, complicated puzzle, but... After reading this one, though, I didn't have much luck the rest of the day finding new shrines. I did find something at the end of the day with a beautiful view, but that's about it. <laughs> of course, there's a... Like, how are you supposed to find all of these? It's just, these are completely random rocks. I just happened to pick that one up because I was bored. Day 80, I was feeling risky and remembered that when I was going to get Zelda's memory in the castle that there were a few shrines kind of around there that I hadn't gotten yet, so I want to go get those today. First though, I'm going to be a guinea pig in an experiment. Uh, 500 meters, okay. 21... Okay, I don't rob you dude. Damn. I was trying to get 69 on the debt. Remember what I used to get scared of these guys? Another minor test of strength? Okay. After a long day of bloodbath, getting shrines, doing really cool adventurous stuff, I embarked on my most dangerous quest yet, trying to get an introvert a date. You say so. There you go. Coward. <laughs> I say that, but I would do the exact same thing. That was the most awkward thing in the world, but I loved it. I love it. Day 81. Now that I could do that, now that I could get that guy a partner, I know I can beat anything, so it's time to head back and try the middle trials. Damn. Okay. Fuck, dude! What are they fuck? They have bomb arrows, oh my god. Yeah, yesterday didn't go great, but it's now day 82, and I, I'm, I'm feeling more confident with these middle trials now. I, I'm starting to build the momentum. I'm getting what I gotta do. Not die, and be smart. It's easy, let's do it. Okay, for this one, I think the key is going to be to freeze time as much as humanly possible. Like, I need to take out those guys on the back wall that have all of those arrows. So, the more I can, like, freeze time, 
Because they're just bombarding. I can't take out that group on the right. Please don't. God. Damn it, dude. I can't. How do you beat this? Get off the... I don't get how you beat this. Like, I mean, I beat it, but... Sort of. It's... it's, it's I am slow, kind of surviving. Okay. By the end of the day, I had reached a restroom and was on a path to victory. Day 83, on to the next section of the middle trials, and it is dark as shit. Again, the amount of arrows I have, I'm... Oh, God. Oh! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, now the lights come on. I hope that was it for this level. Somehow, I made my way through all of these, like, dark trials in my first try, and then made it to another restroom. Meaning I only had five more levels to do in the middle trials, and then it was completed. Let's go. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Okay. Just letting you guys know, it is now day 84, and I only have four trials left in the middle trials. And I, I, my hands are sweating. Knees weak, palms are heavy. Gotta go, 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 gotta go. I'm freaking out, man. How many how many arrows am I down to? 30. It is now time for the last level in the middle trials, and this is gonna be close. Oh shit. This is a major test of strength. I'm gonna take this as slow as humanly possible. I don't care. No! No, 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 no. Not like this, not like this, not like this. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, did I do it? 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 Please tell me that was it. Please, please, please. It was the beginning trials. Beating the beginning trials was here. And then the middle trials is this. And then I'm guessing when you beat the final set of trials, it leads all the way up to there. Day 85. You can call it overconfidence if you want. You can call it that YouTuber ego. But I know that I need to beat these final trials before 100 days is up. So let's get started today. Dude, I, there's too many. There's too many straight up. Like, there's too many. What do, you, what do I do here? There, wow, I got messed up by those horses. That worked well. Okay. Went better. Round four went better. <laughs> Looks like there's a lot of stuff around here, though, so I gotta... What do I do? No, seriously, what do I do here? How do I... That was so odd, but okay. Either way, it go it went down. By the end of the day, I had only died one time and I had made it to my first oasis. So this is not actually going horribly so far. I don't like that. Flame breaker boots. Day 86 was one of my proudest days in Breath of the Wild because I didn't take a single hit of damage for the next four trials. And then even the fifth one and the final one before the next oasis, I only took one hit. So this run is starting to look really promising as I was able to save all of my good food and weapons. After I was done in the second oasis, I was on to the cold trials. And just so you know, it is still day 86 at this point. I really hope melting this down is actually doing something. Yes. Yes, those will be useful. It's now the second cold trial and it is day 87. More bomb arrows by chance? Maybe if I'm lucky. I mean, I'm gonna use the fire arrows here while I, while they're weak to them. But this is too much fun. I can't lie; I could do this all day. Some may say this is a waste. I could do this more efficiently and faster, but I would prefer to be safe rather than sorry. Am I ashamed? Maybe. 
I thought this giant ice dude that I fought was going to be the final in this batch of trials, but it turned out there was one more. Oh, right, well, I'm using this. Nope, nope, nope. I am using an ancient arrow. I am not fighting one of these goddamn things. Ain't no way. Due to me taking my sweet ass time in the past five ice trials, I am now in a restroom and it is now day 88. This is the final restroom, which means I only have five trials to go. So I am getting as prepared as I can possibly be and I will not be taking any chances. These guys are very, very, very good, so. They make sure you don't die, essentially. Dude, I'm, 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 I'm stressing, I'm stressing. Okay, look at the amount of food I have here. Oh boy, I'm going into this thing ready. The first two trials went concerningly okay. <gasps> Get fucked. Okay, um, could have went better. Could have went better. The third level, I did not hold back with my bomb arrows as I want to save my ancient arrows for whatever the last two levels might hold. How is this thing still floating, man? Okay, I've got two levels left, so... I'm thinking the Ancient Arrows might be the way to go. I took my sweet-ass time on the fourth level. Oh no, 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 oh Oh. <laughs> After this one was done, I spent the rest of the day hyping myself up, getting myself ready. I know I've got plenty of ancient arrows to unload. I've got I I'm ready for tomorrow, but I'm still nervous because what if I what if I mess what if I mess up? What if something happens? Dude, okay. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. One ancient arrows. I want to be using a level 38 bow. Come on, Link. We got this. Here we are, day 89, on the final level of the Trial of the Sword. Okay. That's done. Fuck that, fuck that, fuck that. Oh no, oh no, oh no. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. This isn't as bad as I thought it would be. Did I just do it? And we beat it. We did it. Of course we did. I, woohoo, I'm happy. Yes. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Hey, what if you fall off? I'm not gonna, t I'm not willing to test it. But what if you fall off? Oh, that looks so cool, man. That's what happens when you're around Guardians anyways, right? It just lights up and turns to level 60. I guess I get that all the time now, though. Some of you may judge me for this. Some of you may call it skipping a day. But I just wanted to rest today and get a nice long sleep because I deserve it as I just beat the Trial of the Sword, okay? Day 90, I still had a few lingering shrine quests that I hadn't done, so let's go do those. Starting with this one about shooting an arrow. An arrow flies. Pierce heaven's light to reveal the prize. Pierce heaven's light. Huh? I then had to go find a man-made cliff of some sort, or whatever this guy was pointing at. Just a quick note to self and note to anyone out there, don't kill these big guys right before midnight. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> thing spun right on me. I wasn't taking in the, like, it messed <laughs> up. I was like, oh, blood moon, cool, everything's gonna respawn. I wasn't thinking, like, including the thing that I just killed. Day 91, that guy respawned on me with a vengeance. Anyways, back to questing. Because those 
it's saying shock. So I'm assuming shock arrow. Nice. And then spent a concerning amount of time trying to get this core rock seed. How the hell am I supposed to hit that? Oh, let's go. Yeah, difficult. And back to doing a Canadian activity of rolling snowballs into giant stone walls, because we do that up here a lot. There we go. The morning of day 92, I am using strong gusts of wind to get into this shrine. What do you want to bet it's just going to lead me up? That's got to be where I'm going. See that lantern up there? That's got to be it. That seems like a trap. <laughs> okay. Oh! Okay, it was a trap. Thought so. Then it was time for my episode on Pawn Stars. More than fine. God, I'm rich. I really wish you wouldn't make those sounds each time. Then the rest of the day was a bunch of random, unrelated things. Alright. I think food-wise, I'm doing alright. You know? You ever thought something was a dumb idea, but you wanted to do it anyways? Yeah, okay. This might be my greatest idea yet, if this works. I'm so proud of myself for that. Around noon. <laughs> Hell to the yes. After that wonderful massage out in the desert, I went to see my favorite Maraca man. I then did a little bit of mountain climbing, and the rest of the day I was AFK. Not because I was away doing something, but because I was tired in real life and just wanted to relax and look at this beautiful view. Don't judge me. Day 94, I'm off to explore another relatively untouched area of the map. How much is this chick gonna charge? Show it in 800. Oh, a thousand rupees? You know what, I was willing to try, but thousand rupees is, is it's a lot after finding these i was then off to the region around goron city there was this lake that had my eye for a while because there was nothing there and i was you know i wanted to see because i imagined there was something there so i went to see if i was right or if my mind was just playing tricks on me what the fudge you can't see shit in there yeah this looks more uh adventure right way in kind of area. So I'm gonna uh, head in here. I think I'm just following the way these birds point, right? It's now day 95 and I am still on this path. Can't be too much further, right? <laughs> oh, what was that? I finally reached the end of it though. And like everything else, I had to fight a big massive dude at the end in the dark, which is honestly just wonderful. No, wrong button. I then went to sell some things, free my fourth fairy, and then upgrade my clothing. Ooh, oh. that's a huge upgrade. Let's just enhance it all at this point. Ooh. Also, there was one great fairy apparently that I was missing, so I set out later in the day to try to find her. See, doesn't that work out nice? A fairy here and a shrine here. I probably should have got a bit more money. What they, what'd she want, like a thousand to do it or something? Yeah, I mean, you're in the middle of the desert. I don't blame them this time. Alright. No. 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 10,000. Jesus. What do you think you're worth? My God. No, no, man. 10 grand. Do you know what I could get for 10 grand? Holy. Day 96, I was intrigued about a quest to find a royal guard uniform inside Hyrule Castle. And even though I'm going there in four days' time to beat Ganon, 
why not just go there now and try to complete this side quest? Also kind of to explore the castle, as I haven't really gotten a chance to explore it in this playthrough, and I definitely won't be exploring it much on my final day. Oh, I thought you were... I thought that thing was inactive. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, buddy. Oh, pal. Old friend of mine. Let's keep her going. Might as well risk it a bit for the biscuit. Okay. Dining hall. Hello. Can we not? Fuck. Why does this hurt? Oh, that was a stupid move. These guys only have like 300 health, dude. Oh my god. Okay, well... That took more health than I'd like to admit, so... We're just gonna pretend it took no health. So, um... Sorry, what am I looking for? Um... Oh! Holy! The fuck was that rated? 72 sword! Oh my god! What's in this? What do you want to bet this is the, uh... This is what I'm looking for? Alright! Oh, mind if I do. It is now day 97 and this castle is pretty cool. So far I found one piece of the Royal Guard uniform, so let's go try to find the other two today. Well, I gotta see what's in this one. Is this it? All right, there we go. This library was pretty cool and had some recipes that I know I need for a side quest that I'm not gonna do because I'm not cooking any of this shit up. So let's just go try to find the third one. It's talking about a second floor, so that means I gotta go up. Okay, so apparently I've got to be very, very careful on this next one because it is right near a goddamn thingy bob. It's right near the ending, I should say. And I don't want to accidentally end it. <laughs> Are you shitting me? I gotta do it. Oh, 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 hello. Yeah. There we go. By the end of the day, though, I had found all of the pieces of the Royal Guard uniform. Don't worry, you'll get to see it soon. But when I got back to go to bed, I completed probably the fastest side quest ever. Yeah, yeah, I've been there. The Royal Guard's gear. I literally, yeah, I'm pretty sure I got it all, right? Easiest 300 bucks I have ever made. Okay, let's go to bed now. Here we are on day 98, it's time for prep. I sell pretty much everything I have because I want to buy out the ancient stock from Robbie's place and then I cook up everything. Oh, well, apparently I am pretty maxed out on meals here. Damn, I didn't know there was a max on how much food you could carry, but... I guess it's not a bad problem to have when you have too much good food in your inventory so you can't make any more. I then head off to Gurdu Town and buy out this arrow collection, meaning I have stocked up now on arrows. Yep. I'm not gonna need them again, so... All of them. Really? That expensive? I'm, ex I'm surprised how much I'm making off this. I was expecting, like, nothing. And then I head to Robbie's place in hopes to buy out all of his ancient gear. Oh, uh, let me see what this looks like, by the way. Well, look at me. Don't I just look dandy in this royal guard outfit? I want all the ancient arrows. All of them. Give, it, give them to me. I forgot I actually needed, like, some of the ancient parts for it, though, so I only got three arrows, which is sad. After I've done all this stuff, I realize I have completed 79 shrines out of the 120. And I want to make it an even 80. So I spend the rest of the day looking for, and then thinking I found where a shrine is. And I feel like this spiral probably won't have it, but even if it doesn't, I feel like it'll have something. What do you want to bet it's down here somewhere? Oh, and I'm gonna have to, I see, I see. So I guarantee you I have to like go around this thing. Okay. Okay, man, yeah, no worries. 
It'd be nice if Link could just swim, right? Like, am I the only one who thinks that? That maybe the hero destined to save Hyrule from the calamity? Or you could run a bit faster. The morning of day 99, I'm running around in a spiral in order to get my 80th shrine. Okay. Fucking piss me off. There's water on each side. Yeah. All right, we're good. Yeah, to be fair, that's that's a whole ass challenge to get that one alone. Giant ancient core. 80 shrines. With that spirit orb, I head back to the original prayer place and get myself a little bit of stamina. I got 20 hearts. Give me a little stamina. A lot of the middle portion of this day was just saying goodbye to all the divine beasts, riding toast one more time. You know, some, some good memory. Reminiscent, man. I mean, it's been a while. Like, this has easily been my longest 100 days playthrough. Like, not even close, but it hasn't felt like it. It's been epic. Let's take a ride, big fella. And you know what? The night of day 99, I have got a grudge to take out. I want to kill a Lionel properly. All right, I want that one that was bugging me over at Zora's Domain when I was trying to get that Divine Beast really early in this playthrough. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm so powerful now. I'm going to go kill it. Should be pretty easy. Okay, um, this isn't going well. Okay, okay, okay. I was supposed to come up here and beat the shit out of this guy. Um, I need to freeze him. Goodbye. You fought well. I almost died. But I killed it, so yeah. Thank you, Urbosa's Fury. Well, time for my final sleep of this 100 days playthrough. 99 days on this planet. I mean, look at me. I'm all decked out. I'm ready to go on this... I don't even want to say planet. Just this realm. This world. I've only discovered two-thirds of the shrines. Is now ready to roll. Yeah, what an adventure, man. That's awesome. As I watch that sun go down, I think it's time for me to go find a place to rest. Well, here we are. We have arrived on day 100. There's not too much to say about today. It's the day I've been waiting for. I have got a princess to save, and I have got a kingdom to save. So, what else is there to say? But well, let's go kick Ganon's ass. Go take down this bastard. I am feeling like such a badass that I'm just going to walk through the front goddamn door. You know what? I'll win. I'll beat him. Because that's what I do. Oof, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little bit nervous. Let's go. Alright, through this place. Nope, not dealing with that. <laughs> Absolutely not. I had enough trouble with 2,000. Whew, good shot. You're not the only one with a gun, bitch. <laughs> Alright. Okay. This is it, boys. Let's do it. Wait, are you telling me you've been holding him for a hundred years? And you couldn't hold him for like 20 more seconds, just, just, just long enough for me to get my sword in that little sack he was born. Well, it looks like we fell into an epic arena. Oh, the music. All right. All right, Ganon. Calamity Ganon, baby. Right. Let's go. Now my moment has finally come. Brace yourself, Ganon, for the 
sting of my revenge. This will be our final opportunity. We will not fail. This is this is epic. They're all coming in to help me. Hell yeah. Hell yes. A hundred years in the movie. Hold on, princess. Our moment has arrived. I got tears in my eyes, man. This is beautiful. Yes. Can you hit him with like one more of those, please? I wonder if you only get like two of them. Is it like a quarter health? And like three of them, it's like, you know, five eighths. Sorry. Third question. Epic, epic boss fight inbound. Take a hit. Uh, I feel like I've got an attack power one red. Thank you, Urbosa. I think I killed it. I think I killed it. Ah. Uh, is he gone? Have I saved Hyrule? I think I've saved Hyrule. Like, is this like an actual room in the palace? Just the massive dome underneath the... Ganon was born out of a dark past. He is a pure embodiment. I don't think he's dead. I don't think he's dead. Holy shit. A powerful weapon in the face of evil. Sorry, inventory's full. Let's go. Come on. Got it. Glowing points. He's kind of on fire. He's kind of on fire. I don't know what you mean by glowing points. I'm what am I doing? Am I... We <laughs> just the wrong bow. <laughs> I was like, I think these are hitting. I was using the wrong bow. I was shooting bombs at this guy. Okay, that makes more sense. Damn, that does a lot of damage. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Oh, Nelly. Oh. Let me, uh... Good boy. I'd rather fight this guy than a Lionel, dude. A Lion if, if ten Lionels tried to take over the world, I'd be done for. I'm gonna, just in case, he's got some epic attack I don't know about. I think I got him. I think I got him. I think I got him. Couldn't have done that a hundred years ago? Never mind. Never mind. Go, go, queen. Let's go. Let's go, Zelda. Thank you, Link. The hero of Hyrule. May I ask? Do you really remember me?
I do remember you, Zelda. I do. That was a really awesome game. Oh, dude, I'm sad it's over, but I'm happy I went on that journey. Oh my. I don't even have the words, man. I don't have the words. Well, there you have it. That has been a Zelda noob spends 100 days in Breath of the Wild. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. Also, be sure to comment some games down below that you want to see me do 100 days in. And if you're wondering, I, I, I just ordered Tears of the Kingdom. I'm gonna do it because that was just so awesome. I mean, I can't even imagine what the next game's gonna bring. So please do like this video because the better this video does, the faster I'm gonna get to Tears of the Kingdom and the more I can justify it to myself doing it sooner. Anyways, I really, really appreciate you guys all tuning into this episode. This was definitely a different kind of 100 days than I normally do, but I am so glad I went on this journey and I really do hope you enjoyed it. But I have rambled on for long enough. So it's been your boy, Bandit Banks, and I will catch you all in the next one.